हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंथनगर उत्तराखंड वाई देर इज नो लीचिंग ऑफ फास्फोरस देर इज मोर लीचिंग ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ नाइट्रेट सल्फेट क्लोराइड बट नो लीचिंग ऑफ दिस फास्फोरस फास्फोरस इज प्रजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फास्फेट आयन एंड दिस फास्फेट आयन आर एन आयन and there is more leaching of anions compared to cations because soil particles soil colloid particles carry negative charge that's why they repel the negative means anions so there is more leaching of anions like nitrate sulfate chloride but there is no leaching of phosphate the phosphate is anion so what is the reason that there is no leaching of phosphorus and there is very little leaching we can say almost nil almost zero leaching of phosphorus from the soil so what is the reason so first understand uh, what is the process of leaching and which type of ions have more leaching cations or anions actually in the uh, soil uh, colloids suppose these are the soil colloids or organic matter or any other particles they carry negative charge so soil colloids are negatively charged so this these are the negative charge and because of this negative charge this soil particles or colloid or organic matter attract the cations like ammonium like uh, uh, calcium like magnesium uh, zinc copper manganese aluminum uh, iron uh, hydrogen so there are many cations which are electrostatically held by the दिस क्ले पार्टिकल्स तो जो सॉइल में क्ले पार्टिकल्स होते हैं और होता है उन पर नेगेटिव चार्ज होता है इस नेगेटिव चार्ज की वजह से जो पॉजिटिवली चार्ज का टाइम्स है उनको इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स से अट्रैक्ट करते हैं तो हेल्ड रहते हैं सो इन सॉइल सोल्यूशन सो दिस इज द सपोज सॉइल सोल्यूशन सो इन सॉइल सोल्यूशन दिस कैटाइंस आर ऑल्सो प्रजेंट बट देर इज ए मोर डोमिनेंस ऑफ एनायंस लाइक नाइट्रेट बिकॉज दिस नाइट्रेट्स आर रिपेल्ड बाई दिस नेगेटिव चार्ज सल्फेट क्लोराइड्स so these are present in the soil solution because these are repelled by this uh, negatively charged colloid particles so that's why when water move downward so with the percolating water these chloride sulfate nitrate leach down from the uh, root zone or in the soil so this is leaching process so if uh, suppose cations are uh, present like ammonium then ammonium may be leached down if potassium is there potassium may be leached down if calcium is present in the uh, soil solution then calcium may be leached down if magnesium is present in soil solution then magnesium may be leached down if there is a percolating water downward so it is not like that on uh, only anions are leached down to aisa nahi hai ki keval anions ki hi leaching hoti hai cations bhi agar soil solution mein hai aur water move kar raha hai niche percolate kar raha hai to cations ki bhi leaching hoti hai calcium ki leaching hai magnesium leaching is there potassium leaching is there ammonium leaching is there but there is a more dominance of anions because they are uh, repelled by the soil particles so this is the process of leaching now the uh, think about the phosphate ion this phosphate ions are present either in the form of this uh, phosphate ion um, orthophosphate ion hpo4 or hpo4 double minus primary orthophosphate and secondary orthophosphate so this is the dominant form of phosphorus so according to this phenomena this phosphate ion should be leached down these phosphate ions should be repelled by the colloids lekin aisa nahi hota ye phosphate ion pe bhi negative charge hai h2po4 and hpo4 to ye bhi negatively charged hai to ye repel hone chahiye soil particle se aur inko soil solution mein hona chahiye aur fir inko leaching hona chahiye agar water move kar raha hai but it is not like that so according to this electrostatic chemistry this phosphate ion should be repelled by the clay particles organic matter which carry negative charge and should be present in soil solution and should be leached down with the percolating water as in case of nitrate sulfate or chloride to jaise nitrate ke leaching hai sulfate ke leaching hai phosphate ki hone chahiye but it is not like that aisa nahi hota hai what is the reason that phosphate and and are not leached down so this is very important the reason is that these phosphate ions are uh, highly reactive if soil is acidic ph is less than 7 soil is acidic then there is a dominance of uh, iron aluminum magnesium etc and this phosphate ion 
make the complex this phosphate ion H2PO4 make complex and insoluble compound aluminium phosphate uh, iron phosphate magnesium phosphate and these are the insoluble compounds these are insoluble and may be precipitated so that's why there is no leaching so they are not in soil solution so they make the tight bond with the iron aluminium magnesium so this is the uh, reason that in acidic soil insoluble iron phosphate aluminium phosphate are present and oxides are also there if oxides are there aluminium oxides or iron oxides then this phosphate ion attached to these oxides so that's why these are not in soil solution for the leaching ion should be present in solution so kisi bhi ion ki leaching hone ke liye uska soil solution mein hona zaruri hai lekin kya hota hai phosphate ion acidic soil hai to iron aluminium magnesium ke sath chemical reaction karke chemical bonds bana lete hain aur soil solution nahi rehte ye precipitate kar jate hain ya clay particle pe bond bana lete hain so this is the problem if ph is more than 7 if ph is more than 7 alkaline uh, is there ph is high then there is a dominance of calcium and magnesium then this phosphate ion h2po4 or hpo4 whatever are present this phosphate ion make the calcium phosphate magnesium phosphate and they also attach with the calcium carbonate so make the insoluble compound so that's why not in soil solution so this is the problem at a high ph if ph is high more than 7 then there is a dominance of calcium magnesium agar ph jyada hai 7 se jyada hai wahan calcium magnesium jyada hote hain wahan ye phosphate ion calcium magnesium ke sath complex bana lete hain and these are the insoluble compounds so that's why they are not present in soil solution so this is the problem in alkaline at alkaline ph so if ph is acidic then aluminium iron magnesium phosphate compounds if ph is high then calcium magnesium phosphate compounds if ph is neutral if ph is 7 it is neutral ph then this phosphate ion make the complex with the clay particles the clay colloids so this phosphate ion make the this uh, bond clay phosphate bond so these are the tight bonds so phosphate is not free in soil solution for leaching the ion should be free in soil solution agar nitrate ki leaching ho rahi to nitrate ion ka free form mein hona zaruri hai soil solution isi tarah se sulfate ka chloride ka but phosphate ions are not free very little amount is free if this amount is free then uh, microbes use and plant root use this phosphate ion so this is the reason that phosphate ions are not leased down so it means if we are using any uh, fertilizer like if we are using ssp or uh, dap or npk fertilizer or any other source of phosphorus and if we apply in the soil okay so they after the dissolution after the solubility make this phosphate ion and this phosphate ion make the complex with the uh, aluminium iron magnesium calcium magnesium and they remain in the soil the problem is that they are remain in soil in insoluble form insoluble form and for the plant absorption this form should be soluble but very less amount is soluble over a period of time less soluble amount and that's why the availability is very slow so when we apply the fertilizer there is an insoluble uh, amount of phosphate and there is no loss from the soil so there is no gaseous loss of phosphorus there is no leaching it means phosphorus amount increases so when we phos when we uh, apply phosphatic fertilizer then total phosphate if we about, uh, talk about the total phosphate then the total phosphate amount increases the total uh, p amount increases because it remain in soil in different form but available form is low available p is low and this availability increases with the time when there are dissolved uh, chemical reactions so available phosphorus is low so this is the reason that over the period of time we are uh, applying the fertilizer for two years three years four years five years phosphatic fertilizer then total p content increases but available phosphorus uh, does not increases so it means the total p may be in the form of calcium phosphate magnesium phosphate iron phosphate aluminum phosphate different phosphate form so this total phosphate can be uh, soluble if we are using uh, the microbes or bio fertilizer so there is a need to use the uh, phosphorus solubilizing microbes or bacteria that make the solubility of this total p so because of no leaching loss because of no gaseous loss phosphorus remain in soil the problem with the soil uh, this phosphorus is that solubility so solubility is less for the absorption by the plant nutrient must be in soluble form but 
uh, they are different in soluble form so there is no leaching of phosphate so this is the reason that because of no leaching total p content increases so if we want to increase the available p we should use uh, some microbes phosphate solubilizing microbes or bacteria so this is the reason that uh, phosphate is an ion like uh, sulfate ion but there is no leaching aapko samajh mein aa gaya hoga ki फास्फेट आयन एनाइंस है सल्फेट की तरह नाइट्रेट की तरह लेकिन इनकी लीचिंग नहीं हो रही है क्योंकि एनाइंस की लीचिंग ज्यादा होती है क्योंकि उसने इनसॉलिबल कंपाउंड्स बना लिए हैं और ये इनसॉलिबल कंपाउंड्स फिर सॉल्व सॉल्यूशन नहीं आते हैं तो जब नहीं आएंगे वाटर में नहीं रहेंगे तो फिर इनकी लीचिंग नहीं होती है सो दिस इज द रीजन दैट वाई देर इज नो लीचिंग ऑफ फॉस्फोरस फ्रॉम दॉइल थैंक यू वेरी मच